Hi everyone, happy holidays. So I watched a Killer Santa movie the other night. No, no, not this one. No, not this one either. What the fuck is this? No, it was a robot Killer Santa movie called Christmas Bloody Christmas, released a couple days ago on Shudder. Yes, in this one, the drunk creepy mall Santas have all been replaced by friendly robots, but one of them goes haywire and he kills people on Christmas Eve. So is this a fun concept? Yes. Is this a a fun movie? No, not really. So this is both sort of a positive, but mostly a negative? This film has no fluff whatsoever. Forget about setups and payoffs, character development, character growth, conflict, themes, any kind of plot for that matter. No, we, we got none of that. They barely have an explanation for why Santa turns evil. He just does. They don't bother having a typical three-act structure. Stuff just happens for 90 minutes. And they also don't bother having an ending. It just kind of ends on an awkward freeze frame. Yikes. Just think of this as Terminator, except it doesn't have any plot or stakes. It's just Sarah being chased by Arnold for an hour and a half, non-stop. That's kind of what it is. I do like their audacity to not give a fuck about anything other than, hey, this is a dumb Terminator Santa movie, enjoy. But unfortunately, to make up for the lack of substance and content, we instead get extremely stretched out scenes that are barely watchable, whether it's the main character Tori talking about her Tinder date for literally the first 15 minutes of the movie. Uh, she argues with her friend about eating pussy in a bar for another 10-15 minutes. And there's them in a house bickering about music and sex for another 10 minutes. Th they were just annoying for me. It's just a poor attempt to extend the runtime so that it's feature length, but man was it painful. Every supporting character here shows up only to die seconds later. Some characters even just show up out of nowhere, like, hey, there's some people here. Oh, they're dead. We have the great Jeff Daniel Phillips playing a sheriff. He's by far the best actor in this film. I kind of like him. He gave a much better performance than in Rob Zombie's The Monsters, that's for sure. But in this one, he's just completely wasted. Not because of whiskey. They just don't do anything with his character. It was kind of frustrating. There's a lot of stupid character decisions left and right to the point of bordering on comedy sometimes. Oh, and apparently there is about 400 and 87 f bombs in this movie. Obviously, I'm not very offended by people saying fuck, but when it's five times in one sentence, for every sentence in the movie, well, yeah, it gets pretty irritating. This feels like high school kids trying to outswear their friends to be cooler, and they just look like pathetic losers trying to prove themselves. In fact, this whole movie feels like it was written by a 14-year-old kid who saw Terminator around Christmas time, and he wrote his own derivative story, but without understanding the basics of storytelling. Some positives here, thank god. The visuals are pretty nice. You know me, you know how to win my heart and get my candy cane hard neon lights and there's plenty of them this is a neon movie if i've ever seen one i really do like the colorful almost otherworldly look of this movie yeah pretty good looking Unlike this guy. No oh god! Okay, how about the killer Santa? After all, that's what the movie is all about. Yeah, yeah, he was fine. We get some cool shots of him. I liked when he's on a rooftop or behind curtains. At one point, he's walking towards the camera. It follows style. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The real highlight though is at the end when he goes full Terminator mode. That was great. Lots of fun. I wish the whole movie was like that. But that being said though, I wish the performance from Santa was a little bit better. It's literally just a guy in a Santa Claus suit walking around. I think it would have worked better if he acted more robotic, but no, it's, it's it's just a guy in a costume. Also, for a movie all about being a dumb slasher, the kills were surprisingly lame. Sure, there's some highlights here and there, a couple of good ones, but most of them are filled with quick cuts and shaky cam. You can't really tell what the fuck is happening. There's also a lot of teasing and off-screen deaths. I, I would have liked to see them. And well, since the killer and the kills are the only two reasons why you'd want to watch this movie in the first place, and both aspects are mediocre at best, 
list, it made for a pretty disappointing experience. I'd give Christmas Bloody Christmas something like a 4 or maybe a 5 out of 10. I know some folks like this one a lot though, so don't take my word for it. Check it out if you want. That's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll get back to my Christmas special review. No spoilers, but it's such a garbage movie that one could say it's garbage day. Garbage day! Keep watching Christmas horror movies. It's good for your health. Okay, bye-bye.